Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm going to cover a very, very interesting topic that is how do I start my AWS learning journey if I have to start from uh, scratch, you have to start over. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you a complete uh, roadmap that I'm going to follow if I have to start again from scratch. So it's going to be a very interesting uh, uh, video. So after watching this video, if you are new to cloud, you will have a complete idea a complete step-by-step -step roadmap that you can follow to uh, start your uh, AWS learning journey. So before you start the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT career-related tips. So uh, if you are interested in this field, this channel is definitely for you. I'm planning to upload a tons of videos related to this topic. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. So without further delay, let's start the video. All right, so right now I will assume that I'm a fresh graduate and I don't have any sort of prior experience with uh, cloud computing and uh, suddenly, all of a sudden, I came to know about AWS and uh, uh, after hearing the name and cloud computing, now I'm curious to learn about AWS. The first step that I'm going to take is to learn AWS cloud is to know what is cloud computing and what is AWS. So first I will try to learn the basic stuff of uh, cloud computing and AWS. Once I do have the basic understanding, then I will explore more to uh, build my knowledge over these uh, uh, basics. So uh, for that, I'll uh, follow a few uh, uh, resources that I'm gonna share with you. If uh, you can uh, see my screen in here, so I have opened uh, the official uh, YouTube channel of Amazon Web Service and the very first video I'll go through for it, this one, that is uh, AWS introduction, what is AWS. So uh, this video will help me to know more exactly what I'm trying to learn. And besides that, this channel has a lot of videos. So if you can see it has 15,000 videos, but I'll choose uh, the videos that are related to the basics and it will help me to know actually like how uh, should I approach this uh, learning path and this channel this Amazon web service official YouTube channel is a gold mine guys so uh, even now uh, I always uh, refer to this channel because uh, the contents here are just amazing so once I do have a basic understanding of uh, cloud computing and AWS the second thing I'm gonna do is that uh, to find some free resources where I can uh, practice where I can learn more where I can have more extensive knowledge of uh, cloud computing and AWS for that this uh, website named as uh, skillbuilder.aws this is an amazing website in here you can see there are a lot of free courses in here you can see uh, the uh, courses related knowledge page uh, the badge readiness uh, path it's free it's 39 courses all are free then uh, here you can get a lot of courses so uh, my suggestion to you would be like just think about it like why you are uh, uh, trying to learn AWS because you want to know a new technology so your end goal should be to know as much as you can related to AWS related to cloud computing and uh, this is a treasure for you because here you can see all the resources the official resources that will help you to go in deep on all of the services that AWS offers so first I'll go through the AWS uh, official YouTube channel and secondly I'll go through this uh, skillbuilder.aws website where I can access uh, a lot of uh, free resources to build my basic understanding about cloud computing and AWS so that's great so uh, now uh, according to the uh, uh, steps uh, I know the basics of cloud computing and I also have some in-depth knowledge of different AWS services by uh, going through this skill builder uh, courses the next thing I would do that's uh, for sure is go for a certification and I will always start with the basic level because for now I don't have that much expertise but I do have some sort of knowledge and I want to know more about it and I will start small for that I'll st start with the basic the starter certification which is named as AWS 
AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. So this is the official website of AWS uh, Certified Cloud Practitioners overview. And here we're gonna look into the exam, basically. So in exam overview, it's the category is foundational. As I said, it's not an associate or a professional certification, it's more of like foundational. It will help us to build the foundation that we'll use to uh, get some other certification in associate and professional level, maybe later. But first, we need to start with this. So uh, this uh, is foundational exam and exam duration is 90 minutes and uh, the good part is the exam is all uh, 65 uh, multiple choice questions. So um, it, uh, if we cover the contents or the resources to the certification, it's uh, very likely they're gonna pass the certification and it will help us to boost our confidence. All right, so after that, the exam cost is 100 USD, which is also reasonable. And as a starter, this is always a good uh, starting point, I guess. And uh, we can take the exam in the in the Pearson uh, View Testing Center, or we can also uh, take the exam, uh, sit for the exam uh, under online proto uh, version. So. Um, uh, it's up to you, but uh, if I were you, I will go for the online portal exam because I'll be more comfortable with my surroundings and uh, I'll be more relaxed in that manner. And the languages that are offered is uh, these are the languages. All right, so after that, uh, here you can see some more details about the certification and how should we approach the certification. Everything is uh, written in here. And I'm gonna attach all of this link under the description so that you can find this link and start your cloud learning journey. Well, a good question could be what specific resources I would cover to pass the certification. First of all, I will go through this uh, AWS uh, Cloud Practitioner request. So this is the, the first resource that I'm gonna go, for, go with. And secondly, uh, here under this uh, channel, I do have uh, a playlist of all the services related to AWS. So uh, if I were you and I found this channel with all of these resources, I'll definitely go for all of this because uh, these resources, all the AWS services are explained in a very precise manner. And uh, if I want to learn more then these uh, resources will definitely help to get a better understanding like how to uh, uh, how to configure stuff in a, a real uh, scenario, how to do the uh, setup, how to merge multiple AWS services all together. So I'll also go through this channel, guys. And the last resource or material for cloud practitioner, I would suggest you this one, this YouTube uh, video, which is uh, 13 hour and 25 minutes. And the instructor is Andrew Brown. He did a, an amazing job in here. He explained everything in a very precise and clearly manner. So for a, a detailed uh, overview and detailed understanding of AWS Cloud Practitioner, if you co uh, cover this one also at the very end, then uh, I'm pretty sure the chances of uh, passing your AWS Cloud Practitioner exam would be much, much higher. So um, after preparing for the exam and uh, clearing it uh, uh, with uh, flying colors, then the next step would be to have a hands-on experience. So, so far, most of the thing that we have did is more of a like bookish uh, uh, knowledge. And now it's a time to implement our knowledge because whenever you will be hired as a cloud engineer, AWS cloud engineer, the, your employer will expect to, uh, you to configure stuff in AWS uh, environment, in AWS infrastructure. So for that, you need to have hands-on experience. In IT, uh, hands-on experience is the uh, best thing because if you do have the hands-on experience, you will be more confident. Even if you have this experience, you will be more confident when you are sitting for your uh, any sort of interview uh, session because uh, you know your staff well. So for that, I'm going to do a few things. First thing I'm going to uh, look at is this uh, thing that is called AWS Workshop. So in here, you can see it has a lot of uh, resources which are all uh, accessible to us. So, and the good part is that the levels are also mentioned in here, like what sort of level, what sort of expertise we need to have, like some are 400, some are 200. So in this uh, way, we can search for all the services that we are uh, interested about and all the services will be in here. So suppose uh, if we are interested about uh, AWS EC2, which is one of the very popular services in AWS, so under 
easy too. You can see all the resources and workshop that can do. So if you go through this workshop, you will have a very in-depth knowledge of that particular AWS service. And uh, in a job interview on even in your uh, real job, you can implement all of your uh, understanding, all of your learning that you're gonna get from here. So this is an amazing place to get hands-on experience. And I highly suggest you like every day if we spend at least uh, uh, half an hour to one hour in this uh, website and try to configure something new try to do, finish some workshop i can guarantee that within a uh, few months within a few years you will be a, a very knowledgeable person in cloud computing especially in aws and uh, uh, you have to continue learning because AWS is always coming up with new stuff and um, new and uh, 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 new services are always uh, they're launching. So for that, if we want to be a good cloud engineer, then we must need to spend time to learn. For getting hands-on experience, the next thing that I'm gonna look at is this uh, AWS ramp up guides. So if you visit this uh, uh, website here, we can browse by role. So in in cloud, there are multiple roles. It could be solution circuited, it could be developer, it could be sysop administrator, it could be a security, uh, a cloud security engineer, it could be uh, uh, someone related with the database administrator. So there are tons of roles. So if you do have a particular role in your mind, then uh, this, uh, website will help you to uh, make sure that you are learning stuff that are uh, related to your specific role. So here we can see like a developer, we can say a solution circuit. So here we can download the complete guide and you, if we follow it, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, we will be more than ready for the industry to serve as a engineer in that particular field. So this is an excellent place to uh, uh, learn uh, stuff according to your role and all the service related knowledge are also available here. So if you want to learn about AWS, AWS made things really easy. They provide a lot of free stuff to start with. And once you have uh, uh, gone through it, uh, I am pretty sure that uh, you will be ready for the uh, real world job. So, uh, so far we have made a very good progress to learn about cloud, learn about AWS. So now we do have our certificate under our belt. We do have our hands-on experience by going through different workshops of AWS. So at this point, we are, I think we are ready to uh, enter the job market. So whenever uh, I will try to apply for any jobs, the first thing I'm gonna do to uh, do some preparation for the job. For that, I will make sure that my LinkedIn profile is all up to date and I'll add my certification on the LinkedIn so that people can see that yes, I'm certified and I also update my CV with all the knowledge that I have uh, gained so far, all the workshop that I have done, all the AWS services that I have configured uh, so far. So after that, I will start to apply for jobs. And uh, for some reason, if uh, uh, my job search, it, it, it takes some time because as a fresh graduate, uh, it's kind of like hard to get the job. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna waste my time. I will also apply for jobs under uh, uh, any freelancing platform to get more hazard experience, to uh, get more exposure of uh, cloud services. So uh, just remember one thing uh, that is uh, whatever we we want to do, we must have to have a complete roadmap, a complete mindset that what's our end goal, what we want to be. So for that, uh, for learning anything, like anything related to cloud, related to an IT service or any other subject, uh, we must have to remember that it's not a uh, it's not a sprint, it's more of a like marathon. So we have to keep pushing ourselves. Even after all these years of uh, learning AWS, uh, learning cloud, cloud cybersecurity, still I feel like I have to learn a lot. New things are always coming up and I have to spend time. So for that, uh, there is no other way than spending more and more time on uh, learning purpose. So for that reason, that's my humble request to you guys is that uh, whenever you get some time, please spend at least even 30 minutes every day to learn a new thing. It will change your life. You will become a better and better uh, engineer in any any specific IT field. So uh, that uh, is uh, my suggestion to you. So um, in today's video, we have covered like if uh, I have to learn a cloud, specifically AWS from scratch, what is specific strategy or what is specific steps I would uh, follow. If you guys have any questions or any sort of confusions related to the things that we have covered today, please let me know under this comment section and I'm gonna uh, 
clarify that for you uh thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me so uh if you want me to cover any specific topic also let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna cover that for you that's uh, all for today have a great and wonderful day